ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It is Captain Cowboy here with another video. And today, we are playing Guns of Glory. Now, with Guns of Glory, I want to do another video about what are some of the updates that we're going to be expecting here in the future. As part of, like, my farewell address, I guess you could say. Um, so I was talking to my buddy, and he told me that, you know, obviously with the whole strike thing, one of the things that we were really looking for and really pushing for was getting these updates to slow down. Ever since the release of this game, this game has been trying to compete with King of Avalon, trying to bring it up to date. It's really just a reskin of King of Avalon. All of the mechanics are the same. All of the parts of the entire castle are the same. It's just a slight reskin change in the names. So, you know, we wanted to slow that down. Because it's about like every month, there's something new that's going to cost the high, heavy pay to win, about like $10,000 to obtain, and it just never has slowed down um, ever since then. And you'll notice this game is much smaller than King of Avalon. I think that, you know, they really messed up right from the start, and I could kind of tell from the beginning that things were going to be looking like that, whereas it's not going to be able to do as well simply because they don't have the same type of schedule for new updates that King of Avalon did where you could actually justify purchasing something right when it came out rather than, well, I already know that if I wait, I'm going to get, you know, a better value, so I may as well wait one more month and then it'll drop in half in price. So it just makes sense, all right, you know what, may maybe stay shielded, but then you're constantly behind. You're never truly ahead unless you spend that $10,000 or how much ever it was depending on what exactly was released per month. Now, that was one of the biggest grievances that we had for the strike. And, you know, we we got a response from Fun Plus, and basically the response was, screw yourself. Go screw yourself. We hate you, F you. Um, but, you know what, we'll, we'll try to come out looking like we're good people, but in actuality, we really don't care. We'll have a 30-minute Q&A. 30 minutes to answer questions from thousands of people and we're only going to choose the answer the questions that we want to answer so we got screwed there then we're like well what about slowing down the updates and like okay uh we heard everything that you guys said about updates we listened to all of them in great detail and we've decided that we're going to update faster we're going to make new updates every week now completely going against everything that we want and it just seems like that's going to be the continuous way. Now, Kingdom Migration, when is it going to come? I don't know. It could literally be at any point now. Now, here's the deal with Kingdom Migration. It's going to cost either 50, uh, a certain amount of gold or a pack that you could buy in order to move your single account. You can move your alliance, but it will cost more. They dictate which alliance, uh, kingdoms you can go to. And there's a couple more restrictions that we would have to look into when that time comes. Um, as far as gear-wise, you know, there's new gear coming out to K KOA, which would probably come out to us as well later down the road as well. So, you know, we'll have to keep an eye out on that and, you know, justify if it's worth buying at any point down the road. When that does come out, though, I don't think Sun King will get any cheaper. That is my honest opinion. I think Sun King is right at the price point that it will remain at for the rest of its time here in Guns of Glory. Now, I also know that Guns of Glory and Fun Plus are moving on. They're already in um, alpha mode for a new game. So with that new game coming out, they're going to put less and less effort into this game. And they're just going to put it on an automatic update schedule. And they're pretty much just going to get it up to KOA's date. And then they might do small updates here and there. But nothing major is going to be my thought process. They'll, they definitely will have the support systems. But I don't think that we're going to get huge changes to this game moving forward. Um, That is some of my update information that I have for all of you. This is Kemp Cowboy. 73 million power. We're down 210 million power got a lot of troops in the sanctuary though that we'll be able to heal up for free yeah but this is it's coming to the end ladies and gentlemen i had my time 
I had a little bit of fun here. Um, had a little bit of fun playing with all of you and getting to know all of you. But, as you know, I've moved on, and I hope that I can see all of you, ladies and gentlemen, in Iron Throne. Thank you all for watching. This is Kevin Cowboy. Now, if you enjoy this video and you want to see more videos like it, or if you want to get some more information on to Iron Throne, it's a much better game, and I have a whole bunch of videos about Iron Throne and why you should join it and why Iron Throne is better than Guns of Glory. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Ladies and gentlemen, stay around because I am not going to be leaving my community. I will follow my community, and I hope that my community will come with me to Iron Throne and to the games in the future. Thank you all for watching. This is Camp Cowboy signing off.